Welcome back to more Zatan the Black, our Chaos Dwarf Immortal Empires campaign on Total War Warhammer 3. We continue where we left things off last time, and the lovely people on Twitch have just helped me name Zatan the Black's army. We'll name our other army um, that we've got. Where is it? Where is it? Oh, in the water. Derp. Yeah, we'll name Tim the Firesmith's army properly, uh, probably next stream, next uh, series of episodes. But now we have obviously the Immortals, the Regiment from now, the Blazing Beards of uh, Bazarak. Then we've got the Dwarf Choppers, the Beard Breakers, the Tans Chosen, the Bronze Beards, the Cursed... Uh, the Cursed Zowie? Let me change that. The Cursed Zowie. There we go. Then the Granite Guard for the Blunderbuss Regiment of Renown. The Boomstick Brigade, the Blunder Blasters, the Lead Cleaners, the Firecrackers, the Hachut's Dark Ravagers, Bull Centaur Render... Regiment Renown, the Demon's Tongue, Dreadquake Mortal, which I cannot wait to see in action in a moment. The Double Death Boom Boom for the Death Streaker Rocket. <laughs> Chorfs on the Barbecue. And the Spicy Legion Cannon. Oh, yes. Now, before we dive in to hit Bechai, we need to do a raid. So we get that gold. So let's just break the siege. Um, actually, can you guys... Uh, no, you guys wouldn't be able to come on land and then do it, would you? I'm going to keep sending you. Where is um, Fu, Ch uh, Fu Chao? Don't know. I'm going to send you down here, though, because there should be a black arc. Hello. There it is. So yeah, I'm just going to sit here and I'm going to raid. Happy days. And then what are we doing? Wei Jin. Am I upgrading you to get more troops from here? Because we recruited them in globally. Because we wanted to get some more Infernal Guard now that we can finally get them. Chaffs of the Misty Mountain. <laughs> we can get some Cadai Fireborn now as well. Unfortunately, like all of those, we can only recruit locally all the way back up here. We've got the drill in. Soon, 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 soon. Could upgrade those with the workload. So I don't want to do that just yet. How are we looking on workloads? Okay. Okay. Oh, very much okay. Okay. And the Imperial Road. Oh, uh, you was thinking, why have we got why have we got some over here? But it's because we're accepting you, Lady. I'm gonna turn that off. get more raw materials in here soon. That one's in place. I think I was just going to push through here so I could get more recruit, more localized recruits of Infernal Guard. Because it's that's where we can get the Cadi from, and that's where we can get the Infernal Guard from right now, and also more Cadi. But really, we need it on over here for these new armies. We're building up this force to try and go deal with these guys. So let's yeah pop that in. I don't think I was saving it for technology. What are we even research here? We're going for stockpiling for iron and timber. Then we want wagon engineering, most likely. How much is that going to cost to rush? I can actually rush that straight through. Boom. Oh, we've got the Ice Force Legion. Oh, you know, we've already got that. It's just the... I don't know why. They're all... All the uh, alerts for your messages are all super desynced in this DLC in current update. So I hope they fix that soon. How much will that cost to force through? 360. Oh, that's fine. We can do that. We can do that. Hmm. <clears throat> Let's send them out from here because there's loads spare. And Gunpowder Road also can lose a few. That's 300. That's all it needs, isn't it? <clears throat> uh, the Red Wastes can also lose a few. And I keep doing this. What are you called? Oh, you're Imperial Road. Derp. Pop it all in there. 
force it through. Now, if only I had enough raw materials to upgrade that again, then we could go straight up here and start getting um, Infernal Guard with Fire Glaives. Because I can't wait to have a proper army of them. See, everybody said they're going to pat. They're uh, going to fix it in the next patch. That's due next month, isn't it? I think. Didn't they say? 3.1. Uh, and then, yeah, I can get some more war machines here. That probably wouldn't be a terrible idea either. Oh, look. We can force that through. Boom. Do it. I love it. You're recruiting that globally. I could... Recruit it here. It'll be a fraction of the cost. It means we have to wait. We're going to have to wait for a little bit anyway. I could throw in both of these. Go smash the scaven with. I would like a magma cannon, please. Uh, I can get more blunderbusses, so get them in. Queue them up over several turns. And then we'll need to use our armaments to unlock more... Actually, no, we don't want to get regular Chaos Dwarves. We want to get uh, Infernal Guard. So we'll just save it for next turn. No worries. Hopefully this Gaven don't cause too much of a mess while we're doing all that. How are we doing our Conclave influence stuff? We've completed... We've nearly completed tier two. We just need to go in there and get the Dreadquake uh, battery. Noise. noise. Understand skill points. Falls a tan. Yeah, we're going through... Lightning strike. Dan the Demon Smith. Sir, you are immortal now, which is lovely. I mean, you've been immortal for a little while. Uh, careful casting. Yeah, go for that. Rank 27. Gloin the Burnt. Gun sight gives you more range. Yes, please. Always ready. Reload time reduction. I'll increase the amount of damage you do as well because you'll be firing more frequently. Oh yeah, I'm using you to um, try and harass them. So I'm going to go for specialist to increase your chance and lower your cost. Yeah, we don't want to build any more factory stuff that's going to turn our raw materials into armaments right now because... We desperately need more regions set to be mines. In fact, I probably should have done that here. I don't know. Why was I doing armaments here? I need of you have any that doesn't benefit anything there. Yeah, I'm going to convert you, actually. Convert you over. Or was I just doing it to get more factories to more Conclave influence? Possibly. But yeah, right now I need more materials. Uh, and then that one could be the factory. But I'm not going to be going after them just yet. Building upgrade available. Mm, right. Let's end the turn. Are we going to go see Franz the intern? Um, I don't think I'll be visiting friends personally in this campaign. I don't think we need to go over there for any of our victory objectives. <laughs> quite a quite a big move. Based on my play with the Kessel so far, do you feel they are the strongest race in the game overall? Um Yeah. I, I haven't really I mean, I haven't done like anywhere near enough kind of conclusive testing against other really strong factions to see. But I mean, they, they feel like they're ruddy powerful with their artillery, blunderbusses, and their infantry is not shabby. And their lords are great. Take the shortcut, fight the battle and reduce the journey time or not worth it. Uh, we will be fighting this battle against the Skaven. Thank you very much. It's an ambush. Uh, I'm going to fight it because I, I love using the Infernal Guard with Fire Glaives. Um, and also because I can't see what we're going to lose or do. And we are getting jumped on. Let's do it. See what delights the Skaven have in store for us today. Oh, we've got a Hydra. We've got a Mammoth. We've got some Ogres. And we've got some oh so lovely Chorfs. Oh, and some Solanesh Chaos Warriors. Actually, are they, are they... No, they're chosen. They're chosen of Slanesh.
Just keep marching. Just keep marching. Where are they going to attack us from? I love how the Hydra rattles it. Rattle tail. As it walks along. Oh, we're going to have the thing where it like takes forever for them to decide to attack me. Oh, no. They're coming in. Oh, but they're doing the thing where they're all split up. There's some more of them over there. This is fine. Get him. Conquest. I was like that. Wow, these chosen look really big, but then it's just compared to Chorfs, who are so small. Zippity zap him. Okay. Blunderbuss is my favorite favorite unit. This is indeed a Hydra. We picked it up on our convoy travels. Get him, Hydra. Go, Hydra, go. Pull them around over here. Ow. Going well. Chorf is so fun to fight. The rebel army is getting stronger now. Uh, yeah, I think so. It seems to be like the dilemma events. They're a lot tougher, which I think is good because they were way too easy as Cathay once you got out of the first few levels of your convoy or gain like one or two extra troops and I feel like your convoys and your caravans should be under threat and should feel threatened so yeah I, li I like that the armies that come after you are, are a bit bigger now although it's more just with this one it's more the case that my units are just so good And yeah, I think as some people said, if this isn't a hint towards the potential for like a 40k total war one day. I mean, I started getting excited when we saw like small, like rattling gun squads in the game. I was like, how it wouldn't be that complicated to tweak that sort of that kind of unit size for like space marines and stuff like that. And then if you're looking for like blasters and stuff, well, oh, look, we've quite literally got like little, little mini Plasma guns are like las cannons here. The future's bright. Ah, <laughs> oh, blunderbusses. I will never not love you. Got line of sight. They've uh, they fixed most of the line of sight issues with the um, with the with this patch, three point from what I've seen so far. I think there's some videos done on it as well. It's much improved. 
compared to how it was. There we go. Bada bing, bada boom. You really like how the in how the blunderbusses fight, even when the interns are in front. <laughs> um, yeah, it's always more more labour, please. And we're back to our turn. Noise. Did they they stay put? Noise. You failed, failed. Which successful we've raided, but chai. Yeah, we'll fight that in a minute. Ah, uh, Lockyer Fellhart's back. Nice. Let me go in. We will fight that in a, in a minute. I'm just going to play out the rest of my turn moves. I'm just going to change it to Ironheart. Wanderer. Okay, yeah. So, our uh, Castellian. I'm going to try and keep blocking these guys. Slow them down. Whole Sigma destroyed. Will we... Will we be successful there? Avalon of the Drowned. Confederation Reichland and Ostland. Sterland emerges. Factions can emerge now? You're like, you can bring them back? Oh, nice. We success. We had a success on him. Bada bing, bada boom. Nice. Specialist. Beautiful. Mm, right. Oh, Reichling. Can Reichling do that? Can they bring them back? I don't, didn't know if they could or not. Oh, there's another army over here. Okay, it's an elect count mechanic. Ah, right. I mean, I haven't played elect counts for ages, so yeah, that's, that's why I'm not familiar. Yes, I really want to get... I'm just going to save up my resources there. We've swapped this over. I want to put in strip mine there but we now need to start accepting new labor over here and switching some in otherwise when that goes the next turn it's going to immediately pull our efficiency down no, i don't really want to move too many away just yet we're just saving up our armaments at the moment where did the admiral go the Black Ark. Don't know. Tavar grows. Grunzen Tavara. Scoot Dakar. Outpost, he's got your Lamasu. Uh, they've got salt. What is salt good for? I won't know if this needs to say that. Oh, look, cool. Irrigation um, canals. Control and casual replenishment armies in the region. Nice. Yeah, I don't know what the salt does for us. So we need to take it, which means we finally get to see our beautiful demon's tongue dreadquake mortar in action. Here we go. I think this will be the last of the Total Warhammer games. I mean, it's the last in the current trilogy. Um, it was always billed as a Warhammer Fantasy Battles trilogy, games one, two, and three, right from the start. Um, but I firmly believe that um, we'll see the partnership continue with Games, games Workshop. I, I can't see how this award-winning, hugely successful series for both Total War and Games Workshop um, means that they decide to just part ways. The um, yeah, I can't see them parting ways after this, so I imagine at some point in the future we'll get more from their IPs, be it 40k, Age of Sigma, or maybe even somehow they're able to use the Lord of the Rings tabletop IP that they have to integrate that with Total War. But yeah, it ain't the end. Yeah, it's Snow being a pest. <laughs> Start deployment. Where are the breaches? Right in front of me. Ah, right. We will, well, we want them all clustered up and focus up together because uh, I think we want to see them use this. Oh, look at it. It's got an ogre in the front. Helping man it. Like, load in the shot. Oh, that's amazing. Oh, and it she pulls it along as a train. Oh, ha, 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 ha. That is just fantastic. Fantastic. 
Ich nehm schon, dass du's. Wahitu Demok. Oh, yes. Oh, wait. Yeah, we'll stuff up here. Sorry. Look at that. Beautiful. Right. Get me elites in here. Rest of you to follow in. Blunderboosy. In here. Oh, here it goes. Here it goes. I mean, it sounds impressive before, you know, and that was just against a bit of wall that it didn't really get a proper shot off at. Can you, can you fire on? Oh, it's the Skaven Slingers, but yeah, fire on that. Here it goes. Oh my days. Oh, and it sends out shockwaves afterwards. That's amazing. Hit it again. That's just made my day. That is phenomenal. Right, it's a tan. Go knock these guys out. Oh, nice. Oh, I didn't know if you shot, if you destroyed the gatehouse, it knocked them down. Today I learned. Right, they'll be back defending, yeah, their core point. Let's move on in. Send in the Doom Train Express. Amazing. That's fantastic. Can I manually fire the mortar? I doubt it. I don't think you can fire any of them, unfortunately. really sucks because it i don't know why they've moved away from doing it it's probably because it's kind of janky to be fair oh it fires as it goes as well ah oh, phenomenal phenomenal that control off that point there. So they went all in with trains like building tracks across the map. Yeah, I'm kind of surprised that the convoy system isn't like linked more to trains. I'm just hoping we get more train combinations in the future that we can use. But I think it's only the Dreadquake Mortar, isn't it? Oh, 
I kind of want them all coming down this small little ramp here so I can bombard them more. Uh, no, Alt isn't the key to manually aim. It's press insert, but it's not available on any Chaos Dwarf artillery. It's on some other factions, but not Chaos Dwarf stuff. Oh, come on. They, they're actually, I mean, it's kind of smart. It's like, yeah, we're not going to go down the channel of death. I'm just like, oh. Get wrecked. Draco Mortar attached to... Yeah, it's attached to an Iron Demon. I think it can fire over there, though. It's got the range. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh, the damage! Yeah, hit that one, please. But to attack a ground target. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can hold down alt and then you can tell it where to fire on the ground. But what, what, what we were talking about was manually being able to take control of it and aim it up with the camera and then fire the shot and track the shot like you can do with Dwarven Artillery, uh, Empire Artillery. I think Cathay, you can do it with theirs as well. That is spectacular. It's got limited ammo, so I guess that's how they've tried to balance it to not make it so horrendously uh, horrendously powerful. I mean, it's it's a fantasy game, so stuff like this. I'm kind of like they're not really anything like OP when you've got a game like ma with magic and you know, like essentially living demigods as heroes. Wait a bit longer. Wait for to come in here, because then I can bounce the uh, burning head. Unless they do that, I'll just turn around. I'm on the vortex. Do I like the new burning head? Yeah. I really like all the changes they've made to the um, law of fire effects. I think they're really good. All right, Drake Wake Mortar is now out of uh, out of ammo. But it can still do a lot of nice damage. Oh, there's the victory they've given up now. I mean, I can understand my spells have just munched their asses. We've killed their lord and shattered their defenses. Job done. Decisive so victory. Right. Decisive victory. Got some labor. Happy days. That was incredibly satisfying. And a tower. We can get another seat, though. So as much as I would love to push this up to tier three straight away... 
We're just going to take it as it comes. Oh, I should have sacked it first. Always lion heart sack it if it's going to leave it at tier one, mate. What does the salt do? Upkeep for death streak units. Okay. So it doesn't have any bearing on whether we create um, factories or outposts. Cool, 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 cool. Um, right. Yeah, accept new labor, please. Pop in the strip mine. What I'm gonna do is we'll have a deficit in the efficiency next turn, but then I'll sm I'll move some laborers over next turn. Because if I put them over now, they'll start deteriorating, plus they'll affect public order. So let's not have that. Um, that's just gold, isn't it? Yeah, pop pop that in actually for now. Get rid of the hobgoblin building. Um, actually, before we do that, tower. Finish the military district because it gives plus two global recruitment. That also gives us the Drigquake battery when in own territory. Nice. And now we got to tier three. So what do we want to do here? More industry. Workload requirement for raw materials minus 5%. Oh, yeah. Hell, yeah. We want high commissioner. Hell, yeah. And we have to complete two districts here. Oh, Winds of Magic Power Reserve Capacity plus three for each sorcery seat. Mm, I haven't claimed that many. Mm, I thought it said every seat in the tower. I was like, oh, that'd be good. Mm. Upkeep for each military seat claimed. Oh, yeah, that's not terrible. Spawns a temporary... Yeah, I want that. Field Marshal. Spawns a temporary army of hobgoblins when sacking enemy settlements. Has a five-turn cooldown between spawns. Faction leaders. Like, that sounds cool. Even if it's not the best thing, I want to just see that in action. So I think we'll go for High Commissioner and then Field Marshal. Noise. Right. Tim, Tim, our fire starter. How much longer till he gets his Bale Taurus? Rank 19. Uh, we are going through your Tyrant, aren't we? So that we can get more labor post -trom. i am gonna forget to sack all the time you're very correct uh get that gets someone's seen a hobgoblin yes definitely you guys need to remind me every time we hit a set one be just like sack it sack it yeah we need a sack emote don't we Raja. It's a tan lightning strike. Beautiful. Down the demon smith. What are you doing? Uh, we were doing careful casting, weren't we? So we could go for these for the 10%. Or... We start going through survivalist because we're, we're kind of using him to do some damage every so often yeah yeah Is the how many regions do the blessed dread have like? two ah. music to my ears one over there one up there who are you non chang what is that simple is that vampires oh yeah are they Vampires. Yes. So I think I was reading. I think it was a post by Burke Black earlier. Um. And it was running through kind of what factions or what races aren't currently in, and it was kind of rating the chance of them being the next DLC. I think Jade Vampires are quite high up on the list of what we could possibly get in a future DLC, especially because apparently further content for Cathay's apparently planned, according to this article. So it could be like a Cathay versus Jade Vampire DLC, which would, which would be these guys over here, which would be a mix of vampire units and vampiric Cathayan units. That sounds really cool. To be fair, it's been ages since I last had a good vampire campaign, so I'm quite excited by the prospect of another um 
Another vamp series. Yeah, go for better scales, better scales. Oh, where are you? You're off on holiday. Look at you go. I kind of wish with the convoy system, there was a way of establishing new, like, convoy routes over time or, like, new settlements would, would appear over time. We really should take a look at this more often to see what the threat rate is. I really want to upgrade you so we can get more stuff. We just need we need more mines. Um for which we need more labor. We have more troops next turn. I'm not going to put them in just yet. There's no point. So it's the Cogglave. Oh, yes. Infernal Iron Sworn. Oh, please say I can get... Oh! I can get a Cadi Destroyer through um, Allegiance, Allied Recruitment. If I just wait a little bit longer. Thick. Do they have a mission? I, I don't have enough yet. Mission, 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 mission. Yes, Admiral. Take him out. Boom. Pop it in. Pop it in. End the turn. Not wealthy, but you spent 12k on a gaming room. Finally finished after 12 months. Purchase thanks to Klarna and PayPal. For something. Please, please take some pictures and share it on our Discord. Like in the in the Creative Corner channel. That's where we like share pictures. I, I, I love seeing people's setups. This goes to like everyone in chat right now. Please do share your set. I love seeing yourselves. Confederation, Western Provinces, and the Burning Wind Nomads. So, Yang Ming is getting more powerful. Right, let's just keep on slowing the Skaven. We're just trying to stop them moving around. I hate how these are bugged though because I never get to see. Did he succeed? No, it failed. Great. Try again. No. Where'd that other army go that was over here? Oh, it's over here. Hello. Uh-oh. What's the garrison here like? I mean, we've got Infernal Guard and we've got blunderbusses. We'll be fine. Right. We want to increase our capture Infernal Guard right now for this army. I can only do it twice. Damn. Damn, you're so expensive. Infernal Guard. Um, there's great weapons. Oh, wow. The armor piercing on these guys. Uh, you know, I've already got two of them. So let's go for Infernal Guard with great weapons. Can I increase that capacity? I can. And then what I'll do is I'll go for two regular chorfs in there. I can actually recruit some Fireborn. You know what? I'm going to do it. It's most of my money, but I'm going to do it. Beautiful. Right. We've got a mission to take out the Admiral, don't we? Zoom to target. It's over here. So let me go hunt it down. There he is. Yeah, let's go attack it. Beautiful. Meanwhile, let's go finish them off with Zatan. I just want to use that dread that dread crate mortar again. That was just disgusting. What technology did we just finish? We just finished stockpiling. Yep. Yeah, go for that. Wagon engineering. Better scales. Oh boy, look at those raw materials here. I want to upgrade you, uh, Wei Jin, again soon. Um, yeah, we're not efficient because we need some labor. Here. So let's shuffle, 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 shuffle. Some labor, 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 labor. Don't have enough money. Okay, I've got to put the surplus back. 
Damn it. Reset. Okay. Take the labor out of there. Take the labor out of there. Take the labor out of there. Put it in here. Can't do that. It's too expensive. So put it back there. Boom. Yes. 100%. Noise. Uh, keep for district users. It's not going to help us out a huge amount right now. Um, probably going to go for that. Although, what were these things again? Raw materials consumed per building. Per turn by building. 5%. Okay. Yeah, we want that and that eventually. Just need more, more gold now. We finished two convoys. Raw materials and a load of slaves. That's why we're looking pretty healthy in a lot of places. Um, I mean, I could sacrifice some to get me some more conclave influence, but we need 300 now, so it's not going to get me any anytime soon. God, I've been doing the heavy lifting through this Tower of Tsar. Cargo capacity. Oh, you are going to be you're going to be spectacular when I get to send you off again. Are they returning to capital? Can experience war machine. Ooh. Oh, is that a dreadquake mortar on a skull? Yes. Okay, I'm recruiting. Oh, I can't recruit you. Okay, I can only send out one right now anyway, so I'll send I'll get you next turn. So get you. Uh, I need more raw materials. That's what I need. I don't have armaments to trade for labor in some of them. Grungzint. Yeah, go for it. Oh, I don't have the gold either, do I? I'll have to wait till next turn no matter what. It's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. Save the raw materials. We've just gained a massive boost to them. Did the... Oh, was it the drill? It was... I knew it. I was like, why is that gone up so much? Yeah, the drill. Tier 4 Gromerel Tip Drill. Beautiful. Con yeah, I know we can dispatch a combo. I can't afford one. Stop it. Stop it, please. Um, You're a source report. You should actually have an Infernal Castellian. I can't recruit you yet. I and mean, we've got this one out on the campaign map. Agreed. Ironheart the Wanderer. So we'll just leave him there for now. Right, enter. Right. We gained a Karnak Raider. Okay. Someone besieged. They've attacked me. Oh! Right, yeah, they brought the other army over as well. It's a valiant defeat. It's a lot of Skaven. We've got the Infernal Guard in there, though. With insane defense. It's a lot of Skaven slaves. I sh you know what I should have done? Last turn I should have thrown in the regiments right now. We're in my own territory, so I should have the... Yes. I've got the Dreadquake battery. I've only got one use. What's the map like? If I see if I'd left this as a factory, it would have been a minor settlement battle. They're going to be, if I'm going to press out an attack, I should probably do it because they're going to be tired. You failed, failed. Who's the nut? Zatan, Zatan, he's the man. Um, I was going to have both his outposts, wasn't I, rather than a factory? We've got so much now, so we're going to balance it. Because then the factory, get rid of that. Then the factory can have um, the raw materials output, which increases the amount of raw materials we get, but no extra cost to our workload. So that's kind of nice. I could throw in some salt. Let's let's do it. Um, 
We're saving money for wage in to upgrade next turn. Yeah, we will have enough next turn. We're gaining 41 conclave per turn right now. Oh, where's the where's the mission gone? Where have they gone? Where's the Admiral gone? Over there somewhere. Okay. Well, at least I can knock you out here. Yeah, they're over there. Cool. No, that's just a transport ship. That's not the... Uh, that's not the one I'm after. Maybe it's down here. I should have gone and taken that out, actually, because then it would have finished them off. Well, it would have attrition them. <clears throat> Don't spend any raw materials. Block the army again. Damn. At least they haven't jumped over. I'm, I'm going to try and push out here. Um... Put something in that buffs the Infernal Guard, because that applies straight away, doesn't it? Glittering scales, sundering attacks. It really wrecks armor by minus 30. It would only be if for a turn I'd pop this and then I'd cancel it. Something I'm not sure about. If you eat the other two Chaos War, if you confederate with the other two Chaos War factions, do you get control of the Conclave all on your own? Um, I believe you get all the seats that of the faction that you've just confederated with. So yeah, you basically get to claim all the seats however you wanted to. They've got extra powder already. Extra reload. Magical attacks. Frenzy. No if leadership is higher than 50% of the base. Yeah, I'm going to apply that and i can remove it can i do i have to wait three turns to remove it or not i can't remember but that's now applied to these guys so they're even stronger let's push out and fight him I mean, if i'm locked in for three turns i can i can take the hit to my armaments for three turns to deal with these skaven pests yeah blunderbusters are, are great they are fantastic I love them so much. Right. I mean, they're, they're going to come to me because I've got the magma cannon. So I'm going to choose the most favorable terrain I can. I don't think there's enough of like a little kind of valley there to pull back into a narrow opening, which is a shame. <clears throat> Although if, we, if we maybe want to focus up there, though, because that would. Oh. Hmm. Yeah, not a huge amount. Kind of want to get them while they're all. We're waiting for reinforcements to come in. Just because we do have this Dreadquake battery, which apparently apparently is a large explosion area. So we want them all clustered up. No point pulling over there. I mean, we kind of want to try and draw these guys in as soon as possible to face us and then face the reinforcements separately. So, I might just... I've got to be wary where I place my blunderbusters here because of the tiered rice paddies here. It's going to make for um, not great line of sight for my units firing down upon the enemy. Unless I yeah, go right up here. Then I can fire down. Like, if I pull back, it would draw them all up. Can the magma cannon fire? How far back can it fire and hit them? It's far enough forward. Yeah, okay. Let, let, let's start far enough back. They have to come up to us. 
I want to see these guys, the Infernal Guard. Oh, look at them. It was just a really loud noise. Oh, I was like, what's going on? <laughs> the wind blew one of my... <laughs> the wind blew like a cleaning spray that I've got on the windowsill off and it just was like... Ah. <sighs> These guys are great. Guys, hold the flank. Prepare to fire. Crank it up. Ah. Where'd that shot go? Did it clip something? Also, what is with that floating up there? How are you floating up there? I'm, I think you're meant to probably be attached to something somewhere. Oh, they dropped the Eshin clan stone. I was like, what's going on? Magma Cannon! Well, that is a big old cluster, isn't it? So drop that as the enemy comes in. That should be huge. Monstrous impact. That clanstone did do a fair bit of damage. Are we still in water? I was like, why? Why are they even shorter than normal? How long do they come in? They're coming in now. I can't see them though, so I can't drop it on them. So I'm probably just going to wait until they advance a little bit. Or, or. You drop it on them all there. I feel like we can get more of them. I mean, send my Lord in just to try and get more to cluster and then drop it on him. It takes nine seconds. Okay, so yeah, I need them locked in then. I'm risking my Lord here. I mean, he's, he's just a he's just a new recruit we got, so I don't really care that much for him. Is still a big old clump of Skaven. Keep going, Magma Cannon. Send me Lord in. I want them all just to focus on him.
And then when they're all blobbed up, like all of that right now, if I dropped it there, that'd probably still be actually a pretty good hit, wouldn't, wouldn't it? I just don't know if they'd stop moving. I could get them to blob up more, though. That's the thing, if I send my Lord in. So I'm going to do it. Let's try it. Come on. Lob up some more. Come on, push. Push through. Oh, that's perfect. That's perfect. Right there. Right there. Here we go. Plop it. There. Please be big. Please be big. Please be big. Please be devastating. It's starting to spread out. No. Okay, I think I've just recovered from that spectacular Dread Creeper. I'm glad there's only one of those, but oh my days. Chaos Dwarves, you just became better than, than Skaven Nukes with that ability. Uh, I may lose my Lord here, but at least he's going to keep all these guys tied up. Oh, Magma Cannon, what are you doing? Yeah, at least he's going to keep them all tied up. So they can't hit too many of my own troops. Quick, blunderbusses, save my magma cannon. Oh, whoa, what ha what happened to you guys? Guys? Guys, why aren't we firing? Bring that lord down. Bring that lord down. Oh, you got zapped probably, yeah. Guys, why aren't we firing? Oh, you're obstructed because of the magma cannon. Ah. Magma cannon! Oh no! Oh, loads of them are terrified. No, my blunderbusses! You're the key to me winning this battle. Oh, they just smashed through my line. That ruddy magma cannon. Why'd you have to go out in front? You've ruined everything. Infernal Guard, bring him down. Ah, my Infernal Guard. Blunderbusters, yeah, I need you guys turned around right now. Bring down that Warlock Master. Don't you dare break all my troops away. Shred him, shred him, shred him, shred him, shred him. Shred him. I need you guys to rally. I need you guys to rally. There's too many of them. I've been had by my ruddy magma cannon. Oh, you guys are broken as well. Ah. The terror. My infernal guard. Probably shouldn't have sent my lord so far away. No, nah, my blunderbusses.
how did we go from such dreadquake ecstasy to defeat? <laughs> Magma Cannon got 386 kills. I mean, that's good, but you, I'm also blaming you exclusively for continuing to advance. Um, I should have put you on card mode, to be fair. The cannon, the cannon, the cannon got me. I mean, maybe we were never going to win that, but I felt like with the blunderbuss, we could have shredded them a bit more. I could have like taken out their lord. Been had. I've been had. Carpart's interlude betrayed me. Yeah, that's true. Blame, blame my, my one and a three quarter year old. Do we fight? Do we get to live to fight another day, though? We do. So... I mean, it's still not looking great for us. But I will try and... I will try and fight them again. Um, inspiring presence. Or leadership effect. Or more burning wrath. Let's upgrade the burning wrath. If not, I'm just going to have to... I'm going to have to power Zatan North next. To reclaim it would be rather upsetting if, if we lose it to be honest would be quite frustrating thankfully wage in is a decent garrison so they're not going to do anything there we're just going to lose some raw materials um what are we doing over here I should make I should make both of these factories eventually. But not yet. Uh, could increase that. Might be a bit dangerous though with the amount we're losing. So that top grey or bet chai can we do anything there not anything that i actually want to do there unsigned skills cargo capacity yes oh wait hang on that's what i was gonna do wasn't it bear with bear with where was it uh, over here yeah cancel that we're gonna send out some convoys convoy 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 i want this guy the war Machinist, because then we get an Iron Demon and we also get a Dreadquake Mortar. Yeah, hire you. Um, I I need more 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 raw materials, but I also need more laborers. Off to the Volary. It's a quick run. Pop you in, and you guys. Let's send you off next. We're going to send you mm, don't have the armaments to go there. Six turns for 856 labor. Well, the halls of Greece is actually. Yeah, that, that's good. Three turns. And then we've also got you add in. And I'm going to send you. Five turns up here. All that sweet, sweet labor. Alright, oh, uh yeah. Better scales. Cargo capacity. I should do this before I set them. Always do that before I set them. Because I could have increased your Yeah. Should recruit them, then go put their points in then send them off on do that and let's end the turn and probably get attacked by more skaven
Oh, yes, they've gone away. Perfect. Go on, come attack me. Well, I might just attack you. Sally out. Try it. I'll have taken quite a lot of attrition. I don't know if we can win. But we can give it a go. They've already made their moves. So they're not attacking me. I'll probably have to bring Zatan up anyway, just in case. Not it's a valiant defeat with what we've got. But again, we have that Dreadquake battery. So if we can get them to all bunch up again. And if we can gun down their Lord and not have my Magma Cannon wander off, we should be okay. So we will open next stream and next recording fighting this battle. So until the next one, I hope you guys have enjoyed. Take care. Ciao for now.